that together again. Inhale and excellent. As you focus right there in the center of my hand, realize a lot of what I'm about to say won't necessarily make sense to your conscious, but at an unconscious level, it'll make perfect sense. I'll be speaking what's known as a hypnotic language pattern. Your brain will take segments of what I say. So if you're standing, begin to discover the muscles in your ankles and start to get a little bit weaker. Now, as your ankles start to get a little bit weaker, you can also discover the backs of your knees can slowly begin to unlock and you can carefully and slowly change your position as much as necessary. That's right. Let it happen as you allow yourself to focus going deeper all the time. It's important you be comfortable. It's important you be relaxed. So find the position now. That's right, the one that's best for you. I will be sending a couple of you back into the audience. I want you to imagine a position far more comfortable than the one that you're in right now. What would it look like to be relaxed on the floor? At the count of three, you're gonna find that position. Are you ready? One, two, and three. Slither down now to the comfortable position. That's right, deeper more comfortable, more relaxed, because as you find it, you can go deeper without a concern. If you're sitting in a chair, imagine a more comfortable position. Find it now. That's right, getting even more relaxed. If you're standing, you can also change your position entirely. Those of you that are up here, go even deeper. Allow your intelligence to take you through the process. Hello, and welcome back. Everybody focused right here. Deep breath in. Exhale, feeling fine. Sleep again. Relax every muscle, every nerve. That's right. Deeper again. Comfortable. Relaxed. Focus right here. Sleep again. That's right. Let it happen. Deeper again. No stress at all. Oh, nice. Your imagination is about to become so clear. Wide awake on the count of three. One, two. Wide awake on three. Now, hey, everybody. Again, I ask you to get in your positions if you would. That would be great. Close your eyes now. I want you all to imagine yourself sitting or standing at a five-star luxury resort in sunny Bahamas. Get a good look in front of you. There is a huge heated swimming pool there. You've been in and out of the water all day. The temperatures are perfect. There's a bar over to one end. We can pull up a chair right in the water. If somebody eats something to drink, try to get a good look to the left-hand side. Get a good look to the left-hand side and enjoy the scenery that's there. Get a look higher into the air to the brilliant blue sky with some exotic birds flying by. I want you to turn and get a good look behind you as well because that's where the ocean is. Endless miles of beautiful white sand, beautiful blue turquoise water so the waves come crashing down. Oh, there's one of your friends walking along the beach. Let him know you're there, making it clear. That's right. Let him know you're there. <coughs> what a perfect day. You are in the best physical condition you've ever been in your entire life. You look amazing. So let everybody see those biceps. Let everybody see the abs. You look spectacular. You've been working out for three hours a day for the last six months. You are pumped and you know it. Get a look at the guys around this pool area. Check this out. You've never seen so many hot guys in one place at one time. And you know some of them are checking you out because of how good you look. But there's been a rumor going on in Bahamas the last couple days. Is that Bahamas at some point today is supposed to be hit with the worst heat wave that has swept through in the last 150 years. As the temperatures immediately begin to climb up to 95 degrees. This is hot. You'll always leave your lower layer of clothing on, remember that? Oh, 110 degrees already. This is brutal. Sweating down your face. Your back is drenched with sweat. The person beside you smells like a pig. This is hot. Your feet are the hottest part of your body. Your feet feel like they're on fire inside those socks and shoes. Do anything you do to cool them off. The feet get even hotter. They feel like they're burning inside those socks and shoes. Do anything you do to get them off. The temperatures are actually getting a little bit 
lower now. Unseasonably cool for this time of year in Bahamas. When it's 70 degrees and the wind starts to pick up, still dropping, strangely enough, 60 degrees. A lot of people are going back inside the hotel, just even a few others remain out here at poolside. Dropping rapidly, now we're down to 50. The wind blowing even harder. Patio furniture being blown around poolside. 40, still getting colder. 30, it's freezing out here. You fear frostbite. You fear hypothermia. But there's one thing you do to save yourself listening to this. The person beside you is warm. The person beside you is as warm as toast. Do anything you can do. Heat up however possible. Save yourself. We're going to be racing all on the count of three. One, two, three. Erase. Wide awake now. Out. All right. <laughs> what are you looking at now? How did she do it over there? <laughs> did you grab him? She said she didn't touch you. It was her. I know it was her. Who are you looking at now? In the, in the plaid here? He says you touched him. No. no. She says no. What was your first name again? Lucas. Lucas. Shake my hand, Lucas. Sleep again. Relax every muscle, every nerve. Go into it further, Lucas, and listening to this. Your name is no longer Lucas. Your new name is Cha-Cha. So focus on this Cha-Cha. You're incredibly proud of your name. It's been in your family for generations. The firstborn has been named Cha-Cha as long back as anybody can remember. You're incredibly proud of your name. Anytime I should happen to mispronounce your name, this really annoys you, Cha-Cha. In fact, the more I forget it, the madder and madder you continue to become. You'll keep reminding saying, my name is Cha-Cha. You'll get madder every time it happens. Wide awake on the count of three, having no idea how much time has gone by, what you're doing in the position you're in now, or why the girl beside you pushed you onto the floor. Now. <laughs> wow. First she touched you. She threw him on the floor. What did you say your name was? Chachi? Okay, we'll take Chachi. If that's what he heard, that's what we'll give him. I'm going to switch spots with Chachi there. Okay, sorry, Chachi. I'll best name ever. It is the best name ever. Spell that for me. I'm curious how you might spell it. C-H-A-C-H-I. Chachi. Okay. If you're a guy wearing a belt, please raise your hand for me. If you're a guy wearing a belt. Uh, hey, I need a little help. None of these people believe what my name is. Can you tell them what my name is? What your name is? Yeah. Who are you talking to? Just tell them what my name is. Lucas Homer? Dude, what's going on? What did he say, Lucas? Put your brother on speaker. No. His brother's like, what the heck? <laughs> okay, well, why, tell me why he said Lucas. Beats that out of me. <laughs> Position on the dance floor. Open Gangnam Star. It's a romantic music. Find a partner if you'd like. Close your eyes now and listening to this. As you focus only on the sound of my voice, it's all over the matters. Realize every ridiculous idea and suggestion you've received while you're up here is gone. None of these things can possibly be working later on. A key word cannot trigger a particular event. If you've lost any kind of memory, you've got it all back now with your eyes shut. You'll always remember what your real name is. Well, you got a nickname for the rest of the year. <laughs> You all remember a thing that happened only if you came up here to volunteer to be hypnotized. 
I couldn't get it to work. We're trying and failing, we're trying and failing. I'm gonna send you back into the audience in groups, some even one or two at a time. The second you step off of the stage and your foot touches the main level, you will instantly remember every little thing that happened while you were up here. All right, listen, they're asking me to stop. If it hasn't worked by now, it's not going to. Uh, I've done this around the world, all 50 states. Works perfect every time. I don't know what the issue was here. I'm just gonna give up on this and save the rest of your evening. I'm gonna quit trying. Uh, I'm gonna send a bunch of you back, and when you leave, you can either take the stairs, the ramp, or over the front of the stage. Um, some of you I'm gonna keep up here. Everybody else, with my apologies, you're free to go. Thanks for trying. Watch their faces as soon as they touch the main level and it instantly comes funneling back.